eruption over the next century, putting almost all of the country's 127 million strong population at risk, according to a new study. It is not an overstatement to say that a colossal volcanic eruption would leave Japan extinct as a country, Kobe University Earth Sciences Professor Yoshiaki Tatsumi and Associate Professor Keiko Suzuki said in a study publicly released on Wednesday. The experts said they analyzed the scale and frequency of volcanic eruptions in the archipelago nation over the past 120,000 years and calculated that the odds of a devastating eruption at about 1% over the next 100 years. The chance of a major earthquake striking the city of Kobe within 30 years was estimated at about 1% just a day, before a 7.2 magnitude quake destroyed the Japanese port city in 1995, killing 6,400 people, and injuring nearly 4,400 others, the study noted. Therefore, it would be no surprise, if such a colossal eruption occurs at any moment, it added. The new research comes weeks after Japan's Mount Antic erupted without warning killing 57 people, and leaving at least six others missing in the country's deadliest volcanic eruption in almost 90 years. The Kobe University researchers said their study was critical, because Japan is home to about 7% of the volcanoes that have erupted over the past 10,000 a disaster on the southernmost main island of Kyushu, which has been struck by seven massive eruptions over the past 120,000 years, would see an area with seven million people buried by flows of lava and molten rock in just two hours, they said. Volcanic ash would also be carried by westerly winds toward the main island of Honshu, making almost all of the country unlivable as it strangled infrastructure, including key transport systems, they said. It would be hopeless trying to save about 120 million living in major cities and towns across Honshu, the study said. This prediction was based on geological findings from the eruption of a gigantic crater, 23 kilometers 14 miles across, in southern Kyushu about 28,000 years ago. The study called for new technology to accurately grasp the state of magma reservoirs, which are spread across the Earth's crust in layers a few kilometers deep. Don't forget to follow Titude1009.com on Facebook, and Twitter, and YouTube, and Daniel Motion and stumble upon Please help spread the word by sharing our articles on your favorite social networks. Go to the links in the below section for updates every day. From my cold dead hands abolish the corporate government. I got it. I've got it for a second. And it's like, see, it returns to the same place again. I can see the red things flashing. I can see it too. Very fast. Faster than the blue. I see him. I got it. I got it in close up. It looks like fireworks or something. Turn the car off. Turn the lights off. I got it. What the? 
okay with this. The crack on the viewfinder is real hard to see that. Looks like a, a satellite or something. Over toward Jackson, Tennessee. Oh, I'm not moving this camera, it's on a tripod. I see how it's almost stopped. Yeah. That is, that's a, that is a, we call it a, um, experimental aircraft, I guarantee it. It's gotta be. It's like a, well, see the crack is right where I think it's at on the screen yeah, here. But now, it's, now it's moving again. And it's blinking now. It wasn't blinking before. Yeah, that's an experimental aircraft, I'm thinking. All right, now where's it at? This thing with this crack area you do find I can't see crap on here. Now it's going faster. Yeah, it's getting ready to fly. It's like that plane that stopped. Mm-hmm. Before which Again I can't see out here. Well it's going uh south right now. That was last night at the same time about all here? Yeah. It's 10 to 9 p.m. Is it still going? Yeah, it's going. It's behind the tree now. They go over here to the south end of the porch. Let's see if I can see it over there. Oh, no, there's trees right here, though. There it is. Where? Is it coming back? No, it's, it's, going, it's still going that way. It's just right above the tree line over there. Wait, oh, I see, but I can't do this. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Where oh, come on. I say I've seen them like that before, but... I always thought it was like a helicopter. Yeah, I mean, no, this was long. I can't it. it looked real long. That's why I said it looked like a kind of remind me of a V V V wing or whatever you want to call it. Well, the thing that I seen last night, I mean, that's the same thing, I believe, the same thing. And it stopped like right over there where it stopped tonight, and then it just all of a sudden zoomed right back the way that it came. Okay, it's going. Let's see if I'm going to keep going that way. See, I can't see the tops of the trees to the sky yeah. with this viewfinder either. Uh, I mean, the sky is light enough, you should be able to see it on this, this video screen, the video camera, but I can't tell crap. I got it zoomed all the way out, I believe. And I don't see nothing over there now. Alright, come on, guys. See that before I transfer it. Huh. That was last, just last night, or did you see it in the yeah, other time? Yeah, it was time? last night. That, again, to me, it's like an experimental aircraft, the way it was like it was. It was like hovering back yeah. and forth, back and forth. And it stopped. And yeah. And it went up, and then it went over. That's mil I Again, it's, see, that shows you the military is 50 years in advance of everything they tell you. So, I mean, that's what they could have. Could be a fucking drone. Because they got to keep an eye on us, criminals. Yeah, they're going to push for a hot war, and they're going to get it. The only thing is... They won't win. Alright, it's about five minutes till 9 p.m. July 22nd, 2015. And whatever that uh, object, that would have been a UFO, basically, unidentified flying object, because it basically like hovered, but then it looked long, like a long lighted wing plane, and then it like looked like it turned and went back and forth, went back and forth, and then it would just start traveling south, where Jackson, Tennessee is. I mean, it was over by Jackson, Tennessee, and then it started going south, like along, you know, over Jackson, going south, basically. Again, you can't tell if you can see the light over there in the sky from Jackson. Uh, let me see if I can put a light on that. See my hand point with. Alright. And mine's just far. 
fogged up too, I think. Because it's real humid out here. So way up there. The sky, that's, I'm pointed directly southeast. So, now I'm going to turn off the light on the camera.